first, you must have the audio file on your desktop to make it easier to control. Now, go ahead and open up GarageBand in your dock or in the Applications folder on your computer. When you open up GarageBand, it'll usually pop up a window like this, asking you if you would like to create a new music project, or and so on. Go ahead and click the new music project. Now, drag the audio file from your desktop into GarageBand, like so, and it will open up a track like this. This is the full song. Instead, you want clips of the song to become your hinges. So go ahead and crop it, like so, and sooner or later, it should be a nice short and sweet clip of a song like this. When you crop it, you want it to sound better, so you can go ahead and click that downwards arrow right below the title of the song on the track, which will enable you to control the track volume, draw points on the track volume, and make professional grade fade ins and fade outs. Now, go to the share menu at the top, send song to iTunes. If you upgraded to Leopard but did not upgrade to ILO 08, this is where the road splits. Proceed to the next black screen like this if you wish to know how to do it on Panther or Tiger or Leopard installed Max with no iLife 08. Now, click Compress using MP3 encoder instead of AAC encoder. And on the audio settings, click Custom settings. In the Custom settings menu, you will see a drop down menu next to the bit rate and change the selection to 56 kilobytes per second. Once you've done all your settings, it should look something like this. When it looks like this, click the share button and it will automatically open up iTunes when it's finished. It should look something like this and then go to your music library, rename the song to open if you would like it to be the open hinge and so on, and then click enter, drag the file to your desktop and throw it into the theme with the proper text in the description. This is the screen. This part applies to users who upgraded to Leopard or are currently running Tiger or Panther. The difference is that when you click the song, send song to iTunes, you will automatically ship it to iTunes instead of asking for preferences. This is where it gets a little tricky. Once you click Send Song to iTunes, it'll open up on iTunes, like so, labeled My Song, or whatever you named it. Now, go to your music library and rename the song Open for Open Hinges and Close for Close Hinges. Now what you can do is go to the iTunes menu, Preferences. In the Preference menu, there's tabs along the top. Go to the Advanced tab. Inside of the Advanced tab, go to the Importing tab. The Importing tab has a selection that says import using. Go to the AAC encoder and change it from AAC to MP3 encoder. This will correspond with the writing of the text file. Now go to the settings. Inside of the settings, click custom. In custom, it'll have a drop down menu for stereo bitrate. Change it to 56 kilobytes per second. Click OK, and it should look something like this. When it looks like this, go ahead, click OK, and then go to the Advanced menu at the top, Convert Selection to MP3 with all the preferences that we just set, and we'll open up a new file. You can go ahead now and delete the old AIFF file from GarageBand and remove it, and then drag the new file that you made to your desktop, and then put it into your Themes folder and proceed with the proper text. In the text file of the theme, enter this text. That will correspond with the names of the MP3s that you made, so be sure that you have two, one for open and one for close sounds. One last reminder, you can use iTunes the same way for your MP3 files on your PC. You just won't have GarageBand. It works the same way. Hope this helped the people that have any problems. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you.